Thank you for checking into our gardening series. In this video, we're going to show you a time lapse of a monarch adult butterfly emerging from its chrysalis. So stay with us and watch. This is our monarch butterfly sanctuary. In these four terracotta pots, we've planted two varieties of Asclepius the narrow leaf Asclepius, in the two first two, and in the next two, the tropical Asclepius, or they're known as milkweed. The uh, narrow leaf is uh, said to be a little better for the monarchs because it doesn't promote the uh, growth of a bacteria in the fallen leaves. The other two, the tropical milkweeds, may do that, although we haven't seen that, and uh, that the, the tropical is what's being sold in all the garden centers around San Diego, so we tried it. Actually, our two tropical milkweeds are their descendants of a volunteer that sprouted up in another garden I tend to, in another home. And we saw it sprouting up and intrigued me. I didn't know what it was, but I looked it up. And uh, we've grown several offspring from the seeds of that plant. The, uh, the, uh, the narrow leaf milkweed we planted from seeds that we ordered from a seed company here in San Diego. But these things are wonderful. The monarchs are attracted to them, to the flowers. They lay their eggs on them. And then uh, the, uh, the monarch larvae eat the leaves. They sometimes strip the entire plant almost. The leaves do grow back. It's quite nice. These plants are all in kind of a winter dormancy right now. And they'll come back, we hope, shortly. But um, the monarchs lay their, their eggs, the larvae the, the, the larva hatch, and then they feed. Right here, there's one right there. I'll show you a close-up of this later. Here's a larva right here. There's three more right here, and I've discovered others nearby. And uh, they'll make butterflies. We've um, been very fortunate to have just a, a mass of monarchs here in the summertime. Last summer, right in this area where I'm standing right now, I could see as many as 10 monarchs at the same time flitting through here. It was remarkable to see. In this image, you can see three monarch butterfly larvae. Here is one here, another one up here to the left a little bit, and a third one down that in the center and below. And this is what we have wanted to do, is to create our own little wonderful wildlife sanctuary by using the proper plants and the proper practices, and it's working out pretty good for us. Here are uh, those same three larvae, and then you can see they're feeding on our milkweed plant. These are the narrow leaf milkweed, which are favorable to the uh, growth of the of the uh, monarch caterpillars. They uh, they feed, and then in a few days later, you'll see that image. They've created their chrysalis on the same plant, and uh, they'll mature in there. In this case, it took about three weeks. The chrysalis has turned first brown and then black, and then. It's really cool to see after that because as they get ready to uh, emerge, you can actually see the orange wings through the translucent shell of the chrysalis. It's really quite magical to watch. And then I'm going to show you here in a moment that you'll see the um, an image of a monarch adult as it is emerging from its chrysalis. We're going to show you an actual time lapse of another chrysalis hatching, if you will. It's really, really cool to see. By the way, we are removing our tropical Asclepius, Asclepius curasavaca and replacing it with the narrow leaf, uh, which we purchased uh, some seeds and some live plants from a nearby garden center here, and those are favorable to the uh, monarchs. We're gonna have, uh, the, the, the monarchs can suffer from a, a disease called OE. I will spell it out here for you in a moment, and you'll see what it is, and, and the tropical milkweed can promote the, the growth of that disease bacteria, so we want to eliminate that one and only have the, the good uh, milkweed in our garden now. So keep, keep a look. We're going to show you that video in a moment here. Here it is. Watch closely, please, as the adult monarch butterfly emerges from its chrysalis. The wind and the changing light from passing clouds made the video a little bit less uh, than we wanted it to be, but we will uh, try to correct that in our next video if we can ever catch another one. It's pretty magical to watch as it slips out of its chrysalis and then the wings uh, kind of uh, pump up. And uh, it sits there for a while, and then it gets ready to go. The adult monarchs do not fly away right away. They sit there seemingly uh, gathering strength. And sometimes we've even had them stay overnight on that plant, and then they, they gather more strength, and they fly off the next morning to continue the life cycle. We hope you can try this in your own garden. You can find milkweed Asclepius varieties that will grow in any climate zone in the continental U.S. So check with a local garden center. And please like and subscribe to our videos and share them with your friends, nature lovers, and even teachers. And we'll make more, so check back often.